How are you feeling? Not good. It's been five years since she's been gone. That bastard made my father a widower and I motherless. The investigator is off the case. What? It is what it is. So what are you going to do about it? Police is so incompetent and unreliable. So helpless. Do not say that. But it's the truth. I just don't know what to do. What you have to do right now is lay your head on the bed and rest. Listen to me. This is not the end of it. We would come up with another plan. Thank you for always being there for me. I know that I can be a handful sometimes whenever I have my mother's memories flash into my mind. I am your husband. I should always be there for you. Sometimes I don't deserve you. We deserve each other, okay? Do you know what? I think I have something that will put a smile on your face. What is it? Hold on, I'm coming. Hold on. I got you this. Go ahead, open it. Don't you like it? Um, yes, I, I love it. I love it, thank you. I thought you would like it. I saw you soft on the internet going through some shopping sites and you paid a lot of attention on this particular brand. I know. I thought it would make you happy. I bought it to cheer you up. Babe, I am happy. Okay, I, I love it. Thank you. Are you sure? I am sure. It's, babe, it's just that I did not expect you to buy this for me. But I love it, regardless. Thank you. I'm glad that you like it. Go ahead, try it. Wait, let me help you. Yeah. Ooh, it already looks perfect in here. Yeah. Fit for a queen. Thank you so much. Thank you. You know, I'll do anything for you. Come in. You requested for the spike, so here it is. Thank you so much. <laughs> you should have sent an office assistant. You didn't have to stress yourself. I know. I wasn't doing anything, so I decided to bring it myself. I mean, I also check up on you to see how you're doing. I, mean, I know yesterday was your mom's room and I hope you're okay. I'm fine. And that's quite thoughtful of you. And I appreciate it. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, that reminds me. Are you going to the conference? Sadly, no. 
I can't go to a bit that we get by. Come on, it's going to be boring without you. You're my only friend in this company. <laughs> and you will make another one. <laughs> <laughs> but just know that it's just one for fun. No for the company. Why are you not serious? It's a way, Joe. Oh. All right. My husband? Yeah, so I have to say impressive. Okay, girl. Mm -hmm. Where is it? At the back and lap. Waiting for me. Okay. Okay. How do I look anyway? You look great. Are you sure? Yes, girl. <laughs> I'm about to. <laughs> I'm about to. Okay, I will take long. All right, take care. All right, bye. Girl. Yes, come in. Hey, girl. Girl. What took you so long? I thought you said. Wait a minute. Ufoma, don't tell me you and Benson made out in the car. No. <laughs> How did you know? In broad daylight? Yeah? I mean, we do it anywhere we feel comfortable. It's not making a home that we don't. The bathroom, the kitchen. <laughs> Name it. That is exactly what I want from Michael. Look, he is not romantic at all. Okay? Really? Go, listen. If I was to rate Michael for being romantic, I'll rate him a 3 over 10. <laughs> is he that bad? Very bad. Listen. Yesterday when I was nearly over my name, just like you did. He bought me a gift for me. Is it beautiful? It is beautiful, but that is not the point. Listen, you see those three points I rated him? It is for buying me a gift. Listen, when it comes to that, Michael is fantastic. In fact, he is the best. Okay. And I want more. I want to spice up my marriage. I want what you have. Oh. I'm telling you, my friend. You can't have what I have, okay? I mean, we are two different people. Okay, your husband frequently gets chicken. My really does that, and you think I don't like it? Please, you can't always get what you want. Well, I hope to get everything I want, and I am going to get it. Really? Yes, listen, it's not about buying me gifts all the time. My friend, be grateful. Look, I am grateful, okay? But I believe that Michael can be there for me as a partner without buying me gifts every time. I did not marry him because of that. I love him genuinely. You're right though, I mean, maybe you should have a conversation with him about it. I mean, communication is very important to marry. Yeah, I know. Well, I can't wait to get home. I have another day. What is that? Will you just oh. will collect with me? Let me collect from here, Joe. What is this one? The guy to take from here. Oh, more. That man is for me. Oh yeah, it's time for you to go to your office. Bye. Bye. All right. Bye. Hello, boy. Bye. <laughs> How's your day? Good. I got this for you. Wouldn't you even check what I bought for you? Michael, when last did you make love to me? In fact, when last did you kiss me on my lips? You think this is enough for me? You just accused me of not kissing you on your lips. I just did. So you call this peck a kiss? Michael, it is not enough. Oh my goodness, Remy. 
What is your problem? What exactly do you want from me? I want you to be romantic. How many times have I told you that you can't change who I am? You met me like this before you got married to me. Well, maybe I should have dated you for at least a year. Maybe I would have gotten to know you better. Are you trying to tell me that you regret getting married to me? I never said that. You know what I mean. If I knew that you were not the kind of romantic man I wanted, I would have groomed you before we got married. Groomed me? Yes! Please, Remy, don't start with all of this. Look, Michael, listen, look. I just need you to be romantic. I want you to kiss me passionately when you return home from work. I want you to compliment me, tell me I look beautiful, tell me to look sexy for you. That we can make love in different places around this house. This house is really big enough that the only place we get to make love is in our bedroom. Is dinner ready? Hmm? What? Is that all you're going to say to me now? Yes. Because that is what is important to me right now. I'm famished. I need food to eat. said to you. You're yeah, sorry about what? You did not allow me to eat dinner. Well, you said you didn't want to eat again. Yes. I lost my appetite when you came into the room and you started beckoning about me not being passionate to you. Let me tell me. Buying you gifts, is that not a romantic gesture? I try to make you comfortable. I buy you anything that you want. I give you everything a woman needs. I know. Okay, I know and I appreciate it, okay? Michael, it's just that... Our sex life is so boring. Like, are you not tired of always being on top of me? So this missionary style of a thing is super outdated. Oh, wow. I wasn't aware of that. Now you are aware. Babe, listen, we should explore. We should try different things. Look, there are different styles we haven't done before. Remy, I can't believe that you're saying all this. We've been married for four years and six months now. And we are still expecting our first child. But we rarely make love. And we would have that child. It's just a matter of time. Okay, babe, listen, let's make love, okay? Come ah, on. Please, Remy, please. Not tonight. I'm tired. Look, I have to wake up very early in the morning to go to the office. Oh, you're not the only one that has to go to work early tomorrow morning. But even at that, I want us to make love, <clears throat> Michael. Remy, I just told you that I am tired. You're always tired. Okay, fine. Come on top of me tonight. <laughs> Mm hmm Wow. Don't bother. Good night. Good night. There are a lot of women that we came to be in your shoes. I mean, you should be happy you got someone like him. Okay, then let's switch. Switch what? A husband. <laughs> you know that is impossible. Yeah, I know. I'm just joking. Look, girl, it's not like I'm not happy in my marriage. I am happy. I love Michael so much. You know, I met him after my mother died, and he has been very nice to my family and I. You know, on my wedding day, he gifted us a car. <laughs> Say no more. I was there. How can I forget such a memorable day? Two cars at that. Two cars. Yeah. It's really nice. Yeah, he is. But girl, I want more. I'm not asking for too much. Remy, stop saying you want more. I mean, what if he gives you more and you can't handle it? Babe, I can handle anything that comes from Michael. Yes. Ah. Babe, I need <laughs> adventure. Hey. Oh, God. <sighs> See, I understand you, okay? Wait a minute. What if you ask him to Abuja for the conference? 
I mean, it's only for the weekend. He won't be so busy with work. Girl, you know that is actually a very great idea. Look, I will speak to him about it and I'm going to beg him to follow me. Gosh, sure, that's a good sure. idea. You should have please, Abeg Abeg, when you return. Don't give him any breathing space to relax. I mean, uh, uh, even if he wants to sleep, don't allow him. Get those nice, sexy long drinks, you know. Flaunt your calf, show your legs. You know, uh, uh, you've got the calf. You've got every twerk for him if you have to. Ah! Oh, for oh. ma. No wonder Benson is ready to die for your matter. You know, get choice. I'm going to recommend something. Babes, you need to open an academy. Like, no, 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 no. I'm not joking. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm going to get something. You need to know. Babes, I've been dulling, oh. Uh uh. I'll just show you the Girl, you always know how to make my day. <laughs> Don't worry, everything. Just try it. Really? You know that? I did. Michael, I don't know. There's no adventurous bone in his body. <laughs> you wish so. Hey? Mm hmm. So I was thinking that you should follow me to Abuja next week. Abuja? Mm -hmm. Why? I thought you were going with your colleagues. Yes, but babe, I'll be all alone in my hotel room and it will be nice and fun for both of us. Plus, it will also be an opportunity for us to spend an alone time together. But we are spending some alone time together right now. Babe, are you saying that you don't want to travel with me? Look, I can pay for your flight ticket. No, it's, it's not that. Honestly speaking, I would love to go with you, at least for the fun of it, but I have an appointment on Saturday. You can cancel it. Remy, mm -hmm. the love of my life. Michael, my lover. You do know that I love you so much. I always try to make you happy. So that means I try as a husband, right? Yes. I know that you love me. And I love you too. And yes, you are a good husband. Mm-hmm. Don't worry, you don't have to travel with me. Thank you. No problem. Well, as you can see, I agree to what you want. So? So you can as well agree to what I want too. My hope is sexual. <sighs> Remy, you're not going to kill me. As well, Michael. Wow, Michael. As well. Hey, honey. Yeah, I arrived safely. Mm -hmm. I'm already at the hotel. Yeah. And I miss you. Oh, my goodness. You are not serious, Michael. You can't even say that you miss me too. My God, Michael, can't you be romantic for once in your life? What do you mean? Should, what do you mean by shouldn't start again? <laughs> That's so silly. <laughs> okay. All right, I'll settle in. Talk to you later. All right, bye. Do with you. Okay. Remy Martins. Jesse. Yes, it's me. Oh my goodness. 
Oh my goodness, it's been such a long time. I know. Oh my God, look at you. You haven't changed one bit. I just want to be like you. You are so beautiful. Oh, Come on. Okay, girl, listen, listen, listen. Okay. Okay. I am no longer Remy Martin. I am now Mrs. Remy Martin. Oh, yes. Great. Thank you. So do you have kids now? Oh, my husband and I are still expecting. Oh, same here. I'm also married as well. Oh, wow, congrats. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So what are you doing here though? Well, um, I came for a conference and it just finished. What about you? What are you doing here? Well, myself and my husband were just lodged here. We sold our house and we're trying to just sort out everything we have to sort out here in Abuja before we relocate to Lagos. You're relocating to Lagos? Yes, we are. That's great. I live in Lagos too. Yes, I we need to go. Let's go. Where did you get this from, though? Girl, I want to go to Lagos. I hate searching. I get to search your wild. Hello, Hello. 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 Do you know that after we lost contact, I looked for you all over social media. My darling, I'm not the social media type. No wonder I couldn't <laughs> find you. Girl, so how is marriage life? You are really glowing. And you are glowing too. Oh, thank you. Well, marriage life is really fine, to be honest. My husband, he is charming, he's romantic, and he's so supportive. Mm -hmm. Do you know that he takes good care of me and I do not even work? Wow, good for mm -hmm. you. Listen, girl, my husband is also very supportive, even though I work. Yeah. He's charming too, but not romantic. <laughs> oh. But if he's not romantic, then you should be romantic. My darling, you will not understand, girl. But that aside, when are you guys coming to Lagos? Um, I think sometime next week because okay. my husband has lots of stuff he needs to like sort here. Right. Then afterwards we'll go to we'll go to Lagos. Oh, okay. Have yeah. you guys gotten a place yet? No, not at all. So the plan is when we get to Lagos, we'll lodge for some time till he's able to get a place that benefits his status. Ah, uh, a uh, baby girl, your husband must be very rich. Of course. What do you expect? Did you think that I was going to marry a poor man? You know I love money. Uh, uh, oh, money, Coco. I know you never <laughs> change. You love money so. Much. Mm -hmm. you this girl. Come on. Ah, girl. It doesn't. But hold on. Wait. Why should you and your husband lodge in a hotel when you can stay at my place? Well, are you serious? Yeah. Listen, you guys can come there and stay for as long as you want. A week, two, or even a month. The husband can take all the time he wants to get the perfect place he can get. Look, and besides, you're also in luck. My husband is a real estate consultant. He's into properties. Really? Mm -hmm. I see someone is married to a rich man you too. You this girl, money. What do you think? <laughs> Remy, you have such a kind heart. Thank you so much. I really uh -huh. appreciate. You're welcome. That will give us enough time when you come for us to catch up on old times, mm -hmm. right? Definitely. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll make sure to persuade my husband so he sure. lets us come. But um, what about your husband? Are you sure he will be comfortable with us? moving into your house oh yeah he'll be very comfortable it's not a problem at all besides he is always super busy except when he comes back home very late at night and sometimes he's also busy on the weekends but he's going to create time to work with your husband oh okay then don't worry we'll definitely come to you hey, you're, like, you're just such a lifesaver Remy. thank you <laughs> well, yeah. so i i actually went to his house and i met a babe there <laughs> uh, for real, for real, babe, that guy they carry me play. <laughs> One day like this, I'll, I'll go change and for him. Can't wait. Lagos, new city, new thing. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Mm. You too, handsome. So. Stop. <laughs> Stop. You're always looking so beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful mm -hmm. Hello. Mm -hmm. Hi. Waiter. Jesse. 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 You're flirting with another man. You have to bring on your finger, madam. Who get that thing, Jerry? I'm just trying to have someone. Yeah. yeah, a bottle don't pray on a spicy snare. Just the way I like it. Thank you, sir. Babe, can you go and... Babe, I am...
<laughs> oh, it's fine. I still have some time. Yeah. Um, Remy, this is my lovely husband, Vincent. Vincent, this is my friend I told you about, Remy. Hi. Nice to meet you. Very Remy. nice to meet you, too. Yeah, my wife talked a lot about you. Last oh, time. my God. Wow, I hope she said nice things about me. Oh, definitely. Pleasant <laughs> things, actually, about you. And also, thanks for inviting us over to your place. Oh, it's nothing. Nothing. Uh, have we met before? Uh, I seriously doubt that. This is my first time in Abuja after a very long time. Okay, because uh, you look you look familiar. You look like someone I've met before. I oh. guess you both look alike. Anyway. Well, maybe. Um, I'll soon be heading to the airport. It was really nice meeting you, Mr. Vincent. Oh, my pleasure. Nice meeting you too. But I would prefer you call me Vincent. Okay. <laughs> um, well, I cannot wait for you guys to come over. You guys are going to enjoy yourselves. I promise you that. We are looking forward to it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, um, baby, don't mind. I would like to go to the room. Do you need anything? Mm, a bowl of ice cream, strawberry flavor. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll get it too. Thank you. That's if you can finish it. Yes. Yeah, sure. <laughs> mm. Take care of yourself. Yeah. See you soon. <laughs> Take Bye. care of yourself. Bye. <laughs> my darling, if I start talking, I will miss my flight. Then you better don't talk, okay? I can't wait to see you soon, darling. Me too. Okay. okay, let's go. Remy, I really don't get it. How can you invite them to stay without my permission? I don't even know them. Listen, Jesse is an old classmate of mine and we serve together in Enugu. How was I supposed to know that? I still don't know them. Listen, you will get to know Jesse and her husband when they come here. Stop making this a big deal. It is a big deal. I can't be living with strangers for two weeks. Listen, I don't know how long they are going to be here, okay? Look, Jesse and her husband won't be strangers if you get to know them. I do not want to get to know them. Listen, Jesse's husband is quite friendly. You two can become friends. I do not need new friends. But Michael, you don't have any friends. Oh, please. Are you trying to insult me? So do you want me to call my friends and tell them you don't want them around you? What kind of stupid question is that? What I'm saying is that this should not repeat itself again. Next time you inform me before you make that kind of decision. So, are you saying that I should call them? Yes, you can call. <laughs> Thank you so much. Look, listen, listen, listen. The husband needs a house, okay? Don't I get something for giving you a new client? Hmm? Hmm. Okay, fine. I'll change your phone and get you makeup kit. What did I say wrong? Michael. Does everything have to be about material things? Why do you have to buy me things like, like that's the only thing I deserve? Why can't you just grab me and kiss me and make sweet love to me, Michael? Have I ever made bitter love to you? Don't be sarcastic, Michael. What is wrong? You always like to blow things out of proportion. Because you are the cause of it. I'm the cause of it. Remy, calm down. Your blood is too hot. I'm always calm. Ugh. Remy. Remy. you lock the door? I'm coming. Honey, please, can you open the door? I'll pee on myself, please. I said I'm coming. Oh. Michael, since when did you start locking the door when you want to use it? 
I was having a running stomach. I didn't want to wake you up with the smell. So you didn't have to use the key. Michael, I didn't hear you flush and there's nothing in the toilet. Um, yeah, I, I tried but nothing came out. It was difficult. But Michael, you said you had a running stomach so it shouldn't be difficult. I thought you just said now that you almost peed on yourself. I want you to kiss me passionately when you return home from work. I want you to compliment me, tell me I look beautiful, tell me to look sexy for you. Michael, when last did you make love to me? In fact, when last did you kiss me on my lips? You think this is enough for me? You just accused me of not kissing you on your lips. I just did. So you call this peck a kiss? Michael, it is not enough. Oh my goodness, Remy. What is your problem? What exactly do you want from me? I want you to be romantic. How many times have I told you that you can't change who I am? You met me like this before you got married to me. Well, maybe I should have dated you for at least a year. Maybe I would have gotten to know you better. Are you trying to tell me that you regret getting married to me? I never said that. He is thinking that all of this is gonna keep her happy. No, he's so wrong. All right, you guys come right in. Come in, come in, come in this way. And feel right at home. Come on in. Thank you. Baby, <laughs> yeah. this looks so good. Did you see me call up here? Thank you. Tell me you. You're at all fun. Yes, I am. Thank you so much. Nice. Thank you. Thanks. Um, Vincent, is there a problem? No. <clears throat> Not at all, no. Hey, are you sure? Is everything okay? Yes. No problem at all. Hey, dear. Darling. <laughs> yeah, they're uh, here. <clears throat> I am Vincent. Nice to meet you, Mr. Uh, Michael Obi Johnson. You can just call him Michael. Um, yeah, I... It's, it's a pleasure to meet you. Jesse, nice meeting you. Excuse me. Vincent, I'm really sorry. I'm sorry. Please don't be angry. I hope you're not angry. Please. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm fine. I'm not angry. What? Um, but do you by any chance know my husband? Have you guys met before? No, 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 no. This is my first time. Oh. Okay. Remember, I missed you for someone else in Abuja. You remember? True. Yeah. True. Um, you know what? Let me just. Show you guys to your room, okay? Let's go yes. this way. Oh, sir, do we have our luggages in the car? Don't worry, I'll have my security guy help you guys out, okay? Let's go. Okay. Come on. Such a nice space. Thank you so much. Listen, you guys just relax, okay? While I rush down to the kitchen and check what's cooking. Okay? That's fine. 
Alright. See, Remy, thank you so much for accommodating us. Oh, it's nothing. Come on. You're far too kind. Thanks, Remy. You're welcome. I'll see you guys later, okay? I don't want to believe that this is the first time you're meeting my friend's husband. What is going on? You know, it just occurred to me why I feel like I have met with your friend before. I have seen Remy before. I know. It is ridiculous. Okay, I, you know you tell me everything, okay? You don't hide anything from me. I need you to explain to me. I, I need to know what's going on. Uh, you, do you want to know the truth, Jesse? Yes. The answer is no. This is it. To be acted and but what I don't understand is why you two had to pretend that you haven't met each other before. Uh, I, I think it's for the best, but but what? Do you remember how we met? As you and I? Yes, obviously I do. Remember the story I narrated to you about myself. Michael used to be my best friend. I remember the story you told me. Vincent, wait. My... He... He's the one? Yes. He is. Oh my god. Ah. Oh. So ugly. Vincent. Please don't tell me Remy. Remy has a connection with all of those things you told me about. What? Ah. Uh. I won't accept it. You looked at him as if you've seen a ghost. I said I have never met him before in my life. Then why did you embarrass me in front of Jesse and Vincent? If you did not want them here, you should have told me. Look, I still do not want to believe that you do not know him. Is it by force? Or do you want me to lie to you? Then tell me the truth, Michael. Don't keep me in the dark. He looked like someone who I used to know before. I'm sorry if I judged Vince because of it. Vince? Who is Vince? I meant Vincent. Listen. That is not an excuse to act that way. You did not even shake his hand. Babes, I'm sorry, okay? I'm truly sorry. I promise you it will never happen again. Okay. I don't want us to have issues because of him. I'm sorry, okay? Well, I'm not the only one who deserves an apology. Please don't keep us waiting, okay? Dinner is ready. Thank 
I think we should just leave, okay? I'll just I'll just come up with something and tell her that was the reason we had to leave. We can't, we can't stay here. I'll promise her that I will come see her whenever it is that she's free. My love, I, I, I don't want to go. It's a bad idea for us to stay here. Can't you see it? See, Jesse, I don't want to leave. Michael and I need to have a conversation about this. He shouldn't even be here in the first place. This is none of your business. This is none of your business. Why are you not thinking about yourself? Why are you not thinking about us? See, the best thing for us to do right now is for us to leave here. Please. Do you understand? I feel like if you stay here any longer, anything could happen. Then let it happen. Yes, Jesse. Let it happen. He ruined my life. And you said it's not, it's not my business. It should happen. How much you really want for yourself? I'm, I'm worried about you. I'm worried about all. Can't you? Come in. Hey, I hope everything is fine. Yes. Yes. Okay, I just came to tell you guys that dinner is served. Oh, okay. Thank okay. you. We'll Thank come you. join you. All right. Yeah. Let's just leave, please. I am sorry. I I raised my voice. I shouldn't have. Jesse, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come, come. Sorry. Okay. Oh, look at me. Let's go have dinner. <laughs> look at me. Sorry. Yeah. We're leaving after the dinner, please. I'm leaving. I'm sorry about the way I acted earlier. It was uncalled for. I apologize. Apology accepted. <clears throat> Jesse, I hope you weren't offended. Not at all. I'm not offended. Yeah. Um, by the way, your wife is a good cook, a, a pretty one at that. I know. <laughs> Jesse, thank you so much. I appreciate it. You're welcome, honey. <laughs> oh my goodness, I cannot believe you're still friends with Chinidu. Hmm. That know. guy is so lousy. He cannot keep a secret for anything. I know. Wait, I'm sure he's still a chronic womanizer. He is. He hasn't changed one bit. Trust oh. me. <laughs> that guy. See, I don't even know how I keep up as his friend. <laughs> but the truth is, he's actually useful when it comes to some things. Okay. Yeah. There's just one, there's one just ahead recently. Okay, So he's married, yeah? That's okay, how right. his wife heard that he was with his girlfriend at the hotel and she went to fight him there. Hold on. She did not fight the girlfriend? No. She said it's his fault. So she went to fight him. Um, wait, wait, wait. If you were in her shoes, what would you have done? My darling, I can never be in her shoes. <laughs> oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. So are you saying that Michael doesn't have a girlfriend? He doesn't. Listen, Michael's job is his girlfriend. Mm. What about you? Does Vincent have a girlfriend? Vincent? I don't, to be honest, I don't know. I do not even pay attention. Because my peace of mind is better than anything else. My dear, me too. I don't snoop. I just look away. Yeah. Well, Michael might not have anything to hide. Yeah, he doesn't. He's a good guy. Yeah. Oh. Um. See, I'm feeling sleepy right now, okay? okay. And we said to be waiting for me. So oh, I, I need to go. I thought he was sleeping. Sleeping? Well, my Vincent doesn't go to bed without me. Oh, girl, <laughs> that is so romantic. I know, right? Oh. Babes, oh my God. Whatever, you and your Vincent love. Listen. Look, tomorrow morning, Michael and I have to be in church very, very early. So you guys can oh. just sit back, relax, and rest, okay? Okay, that's fine then. All right, cool. 
Good night, girl. Good night. Going to bed. I'm super tired. What have I done? What was I thinking? Oh, God. Just forgive me. Michael, please open up. I want to use the restroom. Michael, why are you locking yourself up in there? This is the second time you're doing this. Are you okay? Michael, can you please open up? Michael, Michael, are you okay? What's wrong? Michael. Thirty p.m. and you're not back. Mm, I spoke to Remy and she said Michael took her out after service. So she said we should just have the house to ourselves, just eat and drink whatever we want. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. So any idea when they will be back? In the evening, I guess. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Vincent, hmm? isn't it obvious? Michael is avoiding you. He doesn't want to see you. He's not happy to see you in his home. What makes you think he doesn't want to see me? He used to be my best friend. We've been through a lot together. You know you shouldn't be drinking, right? I'll be fine. It's just um, took just a few shots, so. I'll be alright. See me. Uh. Vincent, see, I need to be very honest with you, okay? Michael doesn't want to see you. We are not supposed to be here. Let's just leave. Um, you know what? I'll say this. The red light at all. Why are you saying all of this to me? Are you on my side? Obviously I'm on your side. I've always been on your side from the very first day I met you. But this whole situation is going to backfire. Like just think about it. You, Michael, under the same roof. With, with Remy under the same roof. Have you even imagined what she's going to do when she finds out? And no one is telling her anything except you are. I'm not going to because it's just going to get me into trouble too. This, this whole thing, I don't want to be a part of it. You have never been a part of anything, Jesse. He used to be my best friend. I thought I had forgotten about everything until I saw him. So him remaining here in Lagos is a part of a world. Yeah, let's just leave, okay? Let's just leave here. Let's look like we initially planned to. Oh. Jesse, would you have said this if we did not end up here? Of course not. Babe, see, I'm saying all of this because we need to be safe. This is Remy and Michael's house. We need to leave this place. Then you have no right to tell me what to do. We are in today when it happened. But I am here now. Vincent, I am here now and I am your wife. Okay? You need to respect my opinion in this matter right now. We need to live here. Do you even imagine how I feel every single time I look at Remy? What about me, your husband, Jesse? You know how I feel? Hmm? 
Do you have any idea what I've been going through in my head whenever I see Remy? Then let's leave! Let's just leave! What are we doing here? And what do you think that you wear? I have to stay and speak to Michael, whether he likes it or not. It's not in your place to tell me what to do. Maybe you start off my business. I'll stay out of the business. Michael, you didn't answer me. That's because there is no answer. What do you mean by there is no answer? Vincent needs a good house to buy and you're the right person for the job. Look, I have other clients. But he's your client as well. All right, fine. I'll create time for him. How can you say you will create time for him when he lives under the same roof with you? Oh no, he does not live under the same roof with me. He's a guest in my house. There's no difference in what I said. There's Michael. a huge difference. Now would you stop pestering me? They're having an argument because of you. Are you happy? You can get someone else to get us a place. It mustn't be Michael. He owes me. He owes you nothing. Absolutely nothing, Vincent. We need to leave this house. Like, what is wrong with you? Can't you say I'm trying to protect you from the mess you want to put yourself into? You're my wife, Jessie. So act like one. And that is exactly what I am doing, Vincent. Can't you say that I'm trying to protect you from the mess you're trying to put yourself into? I don't into? need your protection, Jesse. I am capable of handling my own things all by myself. You know what? Stop interfering in my business henceforth. Your business? Really, Vincent? Yes, really, Jesse. You know what? This is going to be the very last time I'm going to interfere or window in your business, okay? And by the time you get yourself into this mess, just know that I'm going to deny you. Uh, it's fine. After all, Peter denied Jesus three times, so if you do, I wouldn't be surprised. Do you think this is some joke? And does it look like I am joking? I'm done discussing this matter with you because you obviously do not want to listen. Hey girl. Mommy, welcome. Thank you so much. I hope you're not bored today. Not at all. How's your day? My day was fine. I'm fine. Um, babe, I want you to help me and talk to Vincent. Talk to him about what? Okay, the thing is, Michael has some other clients in waiting, so it might take him a little while for him to help Vincent in getting a place. So. Yeah. It's fine. We we totally understand that Michael is busy, okay? So um whenever Michael is ready, percent is ready as well. Thank you so much for being reasonable. Come on, you're welcome. Okay, I'll just go upstairs now and then I'll freshen up, but I'll check on you guys before I go to bed, okay? That's fine, no problem. Alright, you're fine, Sha. Mm -hmm. Alright, great. Alright, great. Alright, see ya. Yes. Yes, I'm fine. Are you sure? You screamed. It must have been a nightmare. Let me just go to bed. I'm fine. Don't you want to talk about it? There's no need for that. Besides, I, I can't remember most of it. Just go to sleep. Are you sure? Remy, I said I am fine. Please just sleep.
This cannot be happening to me. Oh God. I am begging you. Please forgive me. I have sinned against you. How oh, yeah. Works hard just to give her everything that she wants. Mm. Designer clothes, expensive shoes, and jewelry. Anything that money can buy. He is thinking that all of this is gonna keep her happy. No. He's so wrong But if he could only read her mind He's trying hard to buy a love But he would never give her enough All she needs in her life is The simple things That money can buy He doesn't know That all she needs in her life is Simple things, some attention and affection, money can buy. He's trying so hard to buy her love. Mm. Oh, you ready for work? Um, I'm making breakfast. Uh, don't worry, I can't wait for breakfast. I have a meeting in 10 minutes. Uh, I guess I'll see you later, darling. All right, yeah. All right. Take care. You too, take care. How are you? I'm good. And you? I'm fine. Where are you? I'm going to have lunch. What about you? Oh, um, actually I'll be going for lunch with Jessie very soon. She's already on her way here. Oh, that's nice. That means she's not at home. I might go home after lunch to collect a document I forgot. Oh, okay. Um, oh, by the way, Vincent is at home. And please, babe, when you see him, please do not ignore him. And kindly say hi. I have heard you. Take care, dear. All right, you too. Love you. Love you too. We are a shirt. We need to talk. I'll be in the living room.
I have spoken to someone who would offer you a better deal. All you have to do is call her and book an appointment. By the end of this week, I want you out of here. Is this what you want to talk to me about? What else am I supposed to talk to you about? You're not even supposed to be here. What are you doing in Lagos? What are you doing in Lagos, Michael? This isn't our agreement. Vince, this is my life. Your life? Well, now you remember you have a life when you almost ruined mine with your stupidity. My stupidity? Yes, your stupidity. I became a drunk because of you, Michael. Well, it looks like you're doing pretty well now. You can even afford to buy a house in Lagos. That's not the point, Michael. What do you think you're doing? Hmm? Remy? Don't you dare mention my wife's name. How do you sleep at night? I sleep like a baby. You damn liar. I know you too well, Michael. Admit it. You made a big mistake. Well, it seems like this big mistake is working pretty well for me. My wife loves me. Do you have a conscience? Hmm? How could you? What would happen if your family eventually finds out the truth? Vincent, hmm? if I go down, do you go down with me? Oh, you think I'll let the cat out of the bag, isn't it? No wonder you've been avoiding me. You couldn't shake my hands properly the other day, right? You hate me. Of course I don't hate you. You've been my friend for over 10 years until we made a decision to go our separate ways. I could never hate you. As a matter of fact, I feel that I owe you. No, you don't look as if you owe me. That is why I am trying to link you up with somebody who would give you a better deal. Oh, there he goes again, Mr. Morgan. And you think that's enough? Michael. Huh. Vincent, don't even think about it. I will not be blackmailed. And I am not cheap. Does Jesse know about this? How about you ask her yourself? You know what? You and Jesse cannot stay in this house. Don't worry about the hotel bills. I'll pay for it. But you cannot stay in this house. You can keep your money to yourself. I want you to get out of here. here. I will leave your house, Michael. Hey, but be prepared for the worst. You can keep your car to yourself also. Damn you. Pay for the bills. I'll pay for the bills. The gods. Nonsense. I don't blame you, I blame Jesse. Michael, how could you tell him to contact Mrs. Ojo about it? That is not what we discussed. I have told you what I can do. Must it be me? Yes. I promise them it has to be you. Look, and you have to fulfill that promise, not Mrs. Ojo. Remy, I cannot split myself into five places. She would give him a better deal. You know what? That is none of my business. I don't care about that. All I care about is my friend's husband acquiring a house through you. We are going to benefit from it. You are going to receive a commission from this deal. I'm talking to a human being. Are you not going to say anything? What else do you want me to say? You never listen to me. You know I can ask you to buy me that house and I won't pay a dime for it. Are you trying to blackmail me? Then act right. Do you know what your presence in this house is doing to me? No. I have started having nightmares about it. Oh, don't you try to play the victim card there, Michael. I know you too well. Don't try to put the blame on me. You made the biggest mistake getting married to, um, what's her name? No, that don't woman. you dare mention my wife's name. I have warned you before and I will not warn you a third time. What else what? You beat me? You'll fight me. 
Huh? Michael fights his best friend, Vincent. What else do you want us to talk about? No, you tell me when you have refused us to catch up on old times. We are not enemies. Oh, except we are without even me I knowing about it. I never said we are enemies. Then stop acting like one. Is everything okay between the both of you? Yeah, we... Vincent, what is going on? Don't forget he never approved of them to come and live with you. Until he approved. You told me this yourself over the phone. I know, Dad. Look, in as much as he later accepted that he should come live with us, it should not be a big deal if he's going to be in charge. This is his job. Plus, he's going to get a percentage of it. Everything is not about money, my dear. I know that too. But this is my friend and her husband. Why is it so difficult for him to get them a house? Look, Daddy, I'm sorry. I really shouldn't be pressuring you or disturbing you about my problems. No, no, don't say that, Remy. You are my daughter. You can tell me anything. In fact, you can put your burden on me. Okay? See, I know we're just beginning to have these kinds of conversations. Your mom is the one you used to have relationship talks with, so I, I get it, but... Yeah, that's true. She was really looking forward to my wedding. And she will be proud of you. Regarding your husband, could he be going through some pressure from work? I don't think so. And you know this how? Have you guys had a conversation regarding this? No, not at all. I mean, Michael is fine. It's just that lately he has been having a lot of nightmares. And he doesn't want to talk about it and he does not even remember them. I hope he's fine mentally. He is. But... Maybe I shouldn't pressure him anymore. Don't. Please allow him make his decisions. He's a good man. And he's doing a lot for this family. It's very rare to find such son-in-laws. You recall that after my retirement three years ago, he placed me on a monthly salary. And in fact, built this house for me in six months. That's true. But I'm not going to put pressure on him again. Okay. Um, Daddy, are you hungry? Is there something in the house I could, you know, make something for you to eat? Incidentally, I made food. So if you're hungry, you can grab something. Or in fact, I will eat with you when, whenever you're about to eat. Daddy, I'm not hungry. I'm just worried about you. Okay then, whenever you're ready to eat, I'll eat with you. <laughs> oh, daddy. Everything will be okay. Thank okay? you. Thank you. Mm. Not too nice. I hope you're enjoying your meal. Oh my goodness, delicious. Ah, oh, Remy, you're okay. a good cook. Oh, thank you very much. Michael must be enjoying it. Ah, oh, thank you. Please excuse me, okay? Take your time. All right. Ah, Sayanta. I hope you're happy now. I don't understand. Happy about what? They are leaving. 
Jesse and Vincent have decided to leave. Just like that? Yes, just like that. Why? Are you asking me? Isn't that what you want? Baby, you should clap for yourself. You have won. You have driven my friend away. Yeah, Vin Vincent, how about Vincent? Did he, did he look angry? Oh, no, no, no. He's happy. In fact, he is the happiest man in the whole wide world. So congratulations. Would you stop being sarcastic with me? Oh, am I? Isn't that what you want? Like you wanted them gone, right? So you should pop a bottle of champagne. Vincent, Jesse, please, I beg you, don't leave. If I've offended you knowingly or unknowingly, please, I am sorry. But you don't have to leave my house. Jesse, Vincent, please. Michael is deeply sorry if he has offended you yes. in any way. He doesn't want you to leave. I don't want you to leave as well. Please. We can be best of friends. Yes. My friend is going nowhere. Vincent, thank you Thanks, so much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You know what? Let's all go out and have lunch or something. It'll be fun, right? Yeah, that's that, that's a good idea. Uh, let, let me help you right, get so your it, luggage inside. It's fine. I think we can just go. We'll yeah, we'll wait for you here. Let's just go inside. Uh, we'll just freshen up and join you guys. Come on, wait in the living room. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh -uh. Uh -uh. oh my gosh. Oh wow. Babes, let's do that. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. I should stop. Stop. I my club. I guess. <laughs> Um, sorry, I need to take this. It's a business call. Alright, yeah. Hello? Oh, yes. I'll keep you updated. You can trust me on that. Of course, the deal is still on. I really do appreciate the call. Thank you. Um, you know what? Sorry, ladies. Excuse me. Be right back. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Vincent, I... I know I messed up. I should be grateful to you. You know, that wasn't part of the plan. I know, but what made you return to Lagos? Business. Um, I tried not to, but you know, it wasn't inevitable. You should have tried to reach out to me before, or before you made the decision to remain back in Lagos, Michael. I know, but I thought I was doing the right thing. You thought. I have always been your friend, and I'll tell you the truth to your face. It is not the right thing to do at all. Be honest with me. Were you going to blackmail me if I had allowed you to leave? What do you think? Does Jesse know about this? Yeah. But um, you have nothing to worry about. She's got my back, so I have yours. For real? For real. You've always been my best friend, so... Okay. Uh, it's good to have you back though. Just like old times, right? Yeah, just like old times. Oh, go ahead, give you a G. Man. <laughs> you really? All right. <laughs> have fun now. It's not really good. Man, bro, it's, it's crazy, but... 
The look on your face irritates me. If you have anything to say, go ahead, spill it and stop frowning your face. I know you went to see Michael. What did you two discuss? Nothing. That requires you to worry. Also, you know I am worried, Vincent. You know. How much did he pay you to keep short? Like I said before, nothing. Michael is my best friend. He was your best friend! What is wrong with you? Huh? Why did you suddenly just change your mind and stay back? What if Remy finds out? She's not going to find out. Except you have plans of telling her. Or maybe I should make your transfer for you to shut your mouth. I can't even believe this is happening. I cannot! I thought... You said you're not going to interfere in my business anymore. Jesse. I knew exactly what I said, Vincent, okay? But I'm just trying to make you aware of the consequences of what you're doing. I don't know why you can't see it. I don't know why. Look, still, still do the transfer. I thought so. Okay. I'll make you the transfer. I thought I was going to stop mingling in your business. Oh. You get a lot. Afterwards, never you mingle my business anymore. Joints, everything else, like what happened, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember those days. You get it. <laughs> You're here. Hey, darling. I thought you were in the kitchen when I couldn't find you in bed. Yeah, I came to the kitchen to get a cup of tea. But I met Vincent having a glass of water. So we decided to sit down here and have a chit chat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Um, alright. Good night, Vincent. Oh, I run along. I'll join you soon. Good night, okay? Remy. Okay, I went. Uh, Alright, continue. Don't you think we should stop? I think your wife will nah. listen. No, nah. she's gone. Trust me. She'll be listening. We can continue briefly. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. <laughs> That's my boring gist. <laughs> so the truth is that I had to tell Jesse I had so much to drink all because I wanted to get everything off my mind. Michael. Man, you didn't know the pain you caused me. The emotional damage, the psychology, the mental stress. You know, I had to put up with. I became a drunk all to get everything off my chest. And so on that fateful day, I had so much to drink that I almost fell into a ditch. Luckily for me, I ran into Tessie. I think she was returning from the club hall. So yeah, she picked me up, she took me to her house. And the following morning, I, I thought she would rat me out. Luckily for me, she did not. Guess he served me breakfast. We bonded, we became friends. I fell in love. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> we got married and here we are today actually <laughs> you know this would have been a perfect love story if i wasn't involved i know right unfortunately you are it all happened on a fateful day yeah the worst day of my life i know right so tell me Oh, how are you able to manage the entire situation? Oh, a psychological approach like... Vincent, it's been a tussle. I'm interested. You have no idea. Tell me. Remy. Hey, Jesse. Hi. What's up? I'm okay. You don't look okay to me. What's going on? See, you know you can talk to me. <sighs> look. Nothing is bothering me really, but um, and I'm not saying that this is wrong. But I saw Michael having a discussion with your husband in the middle of the night. Okay. Okay, don't you find it strange? Strange? Remy, what's strange about that? I mean, what could they have been discussing in the middle of the night that couldn't wait till morning? And now they've gone out. They're acting like they've known each other for a very long time. Last I checked, you were the one that asked that they'd be friends. Yes, I want them to be friends. But... See, Remy, I know my husband, Vincent, okay? He's just trying to be really friendly with Michael. They are getting to know themselves better. So you shouldn't worry. See, I think we should go out too. I have a friend I'm supposed to meet later. Mm -mm. I don't want to be a third party. No, stop. See, you're not going to be a third party. You're going to have fun. Trust me. Okay, so what about dinner tonight? Dinner? He said that Michael, they are grown adults, okay? They don't, they don't need you babysitting them. See, we just need to go and have fun. I'm sure they will take care of themselves. Okay, yeah. Guess. So let's go and dress up. All right, cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. So, which area do you want us to go to? What part of town? Oh, it's not far. Okay. I think so, around Victoria Island. No, but only Victoria. <laughs> <laughs> I call it such a silly girl. I'm telling you, girl. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyhow, Sha. <sighs> Jesse. Yeah. Is that not the guy from Abuja? Well, yes. So you remember? Of course I remember him. I'm good with faces. Oh yeah, that's true. What <laughs> is he doing here? Huh? Remember what kind of question is that? He's here to see me. Remy? Jess, you are a married woman. Call it off, okay? So just calm down. See, the man has money. Lots of money. And he wants to spend it on me. So why not? Let him spend. Stop acting like my grandma. Stop it. Just lose it up. Let's have fun, okay? Cheating isn't fun. Look, I do not want to be a part of this. Okay? Really? Do you want to be a cute joy? Stop it now. This life is too short. And this is not cheating. We're just going to have fun, you know, drink, listen to music, you know, get some honey. Okay. See, um, I need to go talk to him. Okay? So just order the fight. Hey! How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> Do you know that you left me in the hotel? Oh, I'm so, so sorry, okay? I was just, I was caught up with something. Jaxie, what's going on? Nothing. You tired of us? No, why would I be? We need to take our friendship to the next level. <laughs> I know. Never mind, who's your friend? Well, don't worry about her. Ah, uh, you're the guy, Jess. Thank you. <laughs> Something you think? Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> wow. So, um, what are we ordering today? Jesse, you put me in a position that made me feel uncomfortable. I mean, I'm, I'm really sorry, okay? I'm sorry if I made you feel that way. Jesse, listen. 
I know that no marriage is perfect. But having extramarital affairs is wrong, so just stop it. But you were the same person that told me that Michael isn't romantic. Yes, but I'm not cheating on him. I'm loyal. So you shouldn't do that to Vinton, it's not fair. Are you going to tell him? Come on, Remy now. Prince are supposed to keep each other's secrets. I'm very sure Vincent will keep Michael's secrets as well. Hold on, what do you mean? Are you saying that Vincent and Michael are so close that they would keep each other's secrets? No, see, that's not what I'm saying, okay? You know, Vincent and Michael, they are getting really close these days. And I'm sure they have each other's back. And I expect you to do the same. We've been friends for a very long time. Listen, Jesse, I don't need to know your secrets, okay? So just keep it to yourself. Remy, hold on now, Remy! worried about them of course i'll be worried about them it's late and their phones are switched off remy they left here since morning don't you think it's possible their phones are down well they should have at least tried to reach us by now see i'm sure they're okay wherever it is they are they would come back listen if they're not back in an hour i will go to the police <laughs> po police remy they are not children okay they would come back look Michael has never come home this late. Even if he has to, he will call me. Please stress me out. Stress me. You see? They are back. You are getting worried unnecessarily. <laughs> I tell you are crazy. Hey, baby. No, 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 no. Don't you baby me. Don't. What have I done? Babe. You know, at times you just act like you don't have common sense. Look at you. Uh, I'm so sorry. <clears throat> you know, is it a crime for men to have fun again? You know, when even men, two women and two women are gathered together, the people as each other, they must be a shameless drunk. Uh, I love you. Love yourself. Can you come on, come on. What is wrong with you? I should be asking what is wrong with you. Look at the time you're coming home. I've been busy since morning. Busy doing what? You don't expect me to narrate what I've been busy doing. So you can't explain how you went drinking? Look at you, you are drunk. I am not drunk. Michael, I don't understand you anymore. What's with you and Vincent? What's with me and Vincent? Yes. I demand to know. Like, what's that sudden closeness? You never liked him. Are you not the one who has been begging me to be his friend? Now I'm his friend and you're complaining? He is a bad influence. We only had a few bottles of drinks. You've never come home like this before, Michael. Act right. Gosh. <sighs> Look. I'm sorry. Thing is, I, I, I have a lot on my mind and I've tried to get it off, but I can't. And so you think that drinking will help you get it off your mind? I think it's working. Honey, listen. You can tell me what is wrong. Is it about the nightmares? No, no. It's, honestly, there's no cause for alarm. It's work related, but I'll sort it out, okay? I promise, I'll sort it out. I'm sorry. Please. It's fine. How is my wonderful son-in-law? He's fine. Remy? What is it? What's going through your mind? That it's nothing. 
What if it was your mom when she was alive, you would tell her? Oh, maybe if she was still alive, I wouldn't have married him. Why would you say such a thing? Daddy, I met him when I was mourning mom. He was there for me. I thought he was my guardian angel. Dad, I feel like my marriage to Michael is like a business contract. A business contract? I'm confused now. Daddy, I am confused too. I don't know how I'm feeling lately. I feel weird when I'm around him. Are you sure it's not because the investigator dropped the case? Maybe. He tried to get the truth, but um, the investigator is just too lazy. I, I just don't know what to do. If only I had stopped her from going out that day. She went out to get my medication. Ah, let me stop. Don't blame yourself. It wasn't your fault. Come on, stop. It wasn't your fault, my dear. It's okay. It's okay, everything will be fine. Are you okay? No. What is it? Did I do something wrong? No, it's... It's not you, it's... It's about my mom. What about her? I'm no longer comfortable with not doing anything about her mother. So, what do you want to do about it? I think I need to find a better investigator. He has to go back to where we lived and find out if anyone saw anything that happened that day. There might be a witness to it. A witness? But if there was a witness, someone would have said something. I don't care. Look, I just want the investigation to continue. I think I'll have to go to the police station and request for another investigator. I'll pay any amount. I don't care how long it takes. Because I need to find out the monster who killed my mom. It's okay. You're right. It's such a shame that I never got to meet my mother-in-law. But you know what? If you need another investigator, maybe I can help. I could talk to someone. Are you sure? Yes, she's a new client of mine. Her brother is a detective. But I'll have to confirm from her. Can you confirm now? Uh, well, that would be very unprofessional. The thing is that we have an appointment in a few days. I'll just ask her. That's understandable. It's okay. I know it hurts. I know. But you have to be strong. God. Please. I wish I could turn back the hands of time. I wish I could have stopped her. Stop this, Remy. Please. <laughs> stop it. It is not your fault. I miss her. <laughs> to see you cry, please, please cry, please. It's okay. Trust me, everything is going to be fine, okay? 
Okay. Oh, Detective. Yes, Mr. Michael. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Please sit. Hello. Hello. Hi. This is the detective I told you about. Oh, okay. <clears throat> um, my husband says that you could reinvestigate the case. Yes. Uh, well, I got all the necessary details from Mr. Michael. All right. But I would like to hear from you what information you have regarding this case. Okay. Um, it's basically a hit and run case. It happened about five years ago and my mom passed away from it. Um, as of right now, we don't know who was driving. So I'm just trying to figure out if anyone knows anything about it and things like that because so far, no leads. Yeah. Look, see, he is going to kill her. I don't think so, come on. No, look. I told you, see? I didn't want to wrote a script or I didn't okay, write Okay, look. Hey, um, what are you guys watching? Um, uh, we're watching a movie. Um, honey, can I see you in private, please? What's the name? Come on. Okay. Yeah. But wait, don't you think we should finish this? Michael, movie? right now. Okay. Hello. Hi. What is it? Didn't you see what Jessie wore? What did she wear? Are you pretending like you did not see what she wore? I am not pretending. I didn't take note of what she wore. Are you kidding me? Look, I want them gone. Okay, they've been here for close to a month now. Are you asking me? You are the one who invited them. I've shown Vincent three houses, but he doesn't like any of them. Three houses? What else does he want? A glass house? He has a right to say no. Okay, fine. So when are you going to show him another one? I don't know yet. Michael, you have to know. In fact, you need to know because they need to leave here as soon as possible. We haven't found a house that suits Vincent and his wife. Well, you better find the one that suits them. Because the earlier you do so, the better for all of us. In fact, the better for you and I. Excuse me. Um, Jesse, I hate to keep things to myself and um, I would not like to hide this from you. Look, I understand that you live here with your husband, but I was not comfortable with what you wore yesterday. It was too seductive. Wait, Remy, you're, you're trying to say that I was trying to seduce your husband. What do you expect me to think? Why would I seduce your husband, especially when I know that his heart belongs to you? Just the other day, because he came back home drunk and you were angry, he got you a brand new car. Look, I know, okay, but to be honest, I wonder if that's the main reason though. Of course, that's the only reason. I know, but I feel like there is more to it because Michael keeps trying to please me every time. Because he is your husband. I know, Jesse, but I don't know how. You know what? Never mind. See, I don't think there is more to it, okay? I, You're just overthinking things. And about my outfit the other day, it wasn't my intention to seduce your husband, okay? I just felt at home and you said your husband is faithful, remember? I know, but that does not mean that he cannot be attracted to another woman. Girl, what you wore was really, really revealing. Okay, okay. I am sorry, Remy, and it will not repeat itself again. All right, fine. Apology accepted. Can I eat now? Yes, you can. <laughs>
Remy. Chinedu. Oh my goodness. Uh, my God, where have you been? I've been everywhere. It has been such a long time. Yes, oh, it wow. really has. What are you doing here? Bro, I actually work here. I went for lunch and then I went to the hospital as well. Are, are you okay? Oh no, I'm fine. I just went for the usual checkup and stuff. Okay. What about you? What are you doing here? Someone's owing me. I just came to collect my money. You know, we did some business together. Chinedu, you and money. I wonder <laughs> what kind of business you guys did. You don't want to know. <laughs> God. You know, Jesse told me that you know some people who can do some things, but it comes with a price. That one? When you see Jesse, tell her to give me my money. Wait, hold on. She's owing you too? Yes. I helped her and her husband with their friend to organize someone to pose as a detective to deceive the wife. What? <laughs> my dear, things are happening. I wonder why the friend would deceive the wife, but I didn't ask for any details. And Jesse, she's not picking my call anymore. Do you know where she lives? Remy, are you okay? Yes, 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 yes. Are you sure you're okay? Um, wait. Chinedu, are you accurate about what you just told me? You mean about organizing someone to pose as a detective? Yes, yes. I'm 100% accurate. What is it? What's wrong? Remy, are you okay? Yes, um, um, Chinedu, listen, sorry, I have to go now, okay? I'm um, sorry, excuse me. Remy, you're back home early from work. Is everything okay? doing with her picture. I'm sorry to invade your privacy. My name is Michael Wobby Johnson. I came to say goodbye to my favorite aunt. That's when I saw you. I know you're grieving. I am grieving too. I know how it feels when you lose someone very close to you. If you need a friend, I can be there for you. She was my mother. Sorry for your loss. May her soul rest in peace.
Hi. Hi. Um, Michael, right? Yes, Michael. Hey, um, I know that you dropped me off the other day, but um, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm really sorry for coming unannounced. I just thought I should drop by and check up on you to see how you're doing today. Well, that's really kind of you. Thank you. Um, Pleasure is mine. Do you mind coming in? Sure, I don't mind at all. I got this for you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Please come in. Thank you. Prince are supposed to keep each other's secrets. I'm very sure Vicente will keep Michael's secrets as well. Finished. I have finished. Michael, you have finished me. Michael, you have finished me. Oh my god, what have I done? I married my mother's killer. God. God. Oh my god. Jesse, oh, my friend, why would you do this to me? I brought you into my home, I made you feel comfortable, yet you will pay me with this evil. Jesse, why would you do this to me? Why? What are you talking about? What have I done? Just tell me. Was Vincent there? And Michael killed my mother. Do not come close to me. Do not even come close to me. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. I, I know I should have told you. I'm so sorry. Now stay away from me. Just stay away from me. Why would you do this to me? How much did they pay you? How much did Vincent pay you? How much did Michael pay you for your silence? Do not touch me. Your tears will not fool me this time. And I swear to you, you're going to be charged for withholding. You know, Don't touch me! Sorry, Don't touch me by a coming mother! Sorry, Remy, please. I'm sorry, Remy, please. Remy, Remy, please, I'm sorry. Remy, please. Remy, please. Hold up, please. I'm sorry. Stop what you do, please. Why don't you kill me this Don't give me. Really concentrate on the driving and stop nagging. Oh, please, please, you lied to me. You were supposed to be a 50 50 and not a 60 40. You tried to rip me off, you bloody liar. You're the one that's a bloody liar. Oh, please, just shut up. Don't you dare tell me to shut up. Shut your mouth, why are you talking like that? Shut your ass. My God. Michael. Let's go check on her and see if she's still alive. Oh, my God. Madam. Michael. I think she's dead. I think she's dead. I think she's dead. Michael. We really want to leave. Michael. Michael, can we take this guy to the hospital? We cannot do that. We cannot take him to the No, wait. Just wait. Let me think. Think. Let me think. Michael. Let me think. We have to leave. We have to leave. Michael. Michael. No. Michael. 
Like, I don't know what the police are doing, but like... Thank goodness. You mother of... Tell me, how do you even sleep at night? The doctor said she was going to survive if they had taken her to the hospital immediately. Why would you just leave her to die? You killed my mother! I, I don't know how she found out about this. And you're Vincent. You were there when it happened. You were with him and then you watched him kill someone and then you were not even reported. So they have to. Really? My gun is my best friend. Vincent, will you just shut up? Listen. Don't you dare me? apologize and I will never forgive you. You became my friend. You knew exactly what you were doing. No wonder he kept giving me material things. For what? Compensation. When I heard that she died, I felt really bad. But, but I didn't know what to do. You didn't know what to do, yet you married me. You met me when I was vulnerable. Everything happened so fast. You got married to me. You never even loved me. You married me out of pity. I'm sorry. I hate you. I hate everything about you. And you will pay for your sins. You will pay. See, see my we have to find a way out. You can't let her go. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Your friend killed my mother. And then you want to kill me? Look, I'm going to make sure all of you run in jail. All of you are going to run in jail. Rabbi, calm down and listen to me, okay, Remy? Just listen to me. You? You're not a son-in-law. You're a monster-in-law. <laughs> Mr. Michael and Mr. Prince, you were under arrest. For what? For the murder of Mr. Prince. And you have the right to remain silent. Whatever you say or do, you can just report as well. Wait, officer, just, <laughs> just, just calm down. <laughs> officer, let me explain exactly what... <laughs> officer, come... <laughs> Remy! Remy! Please, don't just listen to me! It was an accident, I didn't... Remy! <laughs> <laughs> Will you ever tell him about this baby? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think I can keep the child of that monster in me. I'm still thinking about getting rid of it. The child could be a blessing. I don't know. I hate Michael. What if I have this baby and hate the baby too? You have so much love in your heart, my dear. This heart of mine is broken. And the death of a baby can amend it. What if it's a girl? We can name her after your mother. Ruth is a beautiful name. You know, God, I just don't think I can keep the child for the man who killed my mother. I understand. I'll be here for you from now to when the baby is born. Daddy, it will be difficult. I'll have to think about it. Whatever it is when you make, I'll be here for you. Seasons come and they go. People change when it glows. But through it all, you're always here. You're so beautiful All of me in your arms All of you in my heart There's no better 
Nothing else matters. 